ever since I bought the mower, like, it's a brand new machine, like, and I've spent, it's $1,430. Now, bear in mind that's Australian dollars. You guys might be saying that's dear as well. We always get shafted over here in Australia, so, sort of, you know, we're the arse end of the world. But anyway, ever since I had this mower, like, it was okay, it was good. Like, it was a lot better than the, than the previous mower I had, but it just didn't seem to me to be have the full value of the $1,500, $1, you know. And it just didn't seem to have that enough power. Um, and so what I decided to do one day was to actually um, go and buy a, one of those digital tachometers. It's been my understanding that, that most lawnmowers of this you know, small, small engine mower seem to run at about 3,600 RPM. And I plugged in the digital RPM tachometer and um, started, it was warm, up to operating temperature, plugged it in, and at wide open throttle it was um, only spinning up to 2,800 RPM, I think it was, 2,800. And I thought, that's a bit strange, surely it must have been faster than that, you know? And I, and I wasn't 100% sure if that was correct, you know, like, um, and being a brand new mower, and I didn't want to tinker with it too much in case I blew something up, you know, blew something up. Anyway, so I jumped online, I went into one of these online forums and that, and asked a couple of questions, and, and before I got a reply to that, I found the, I found the manual for it. And it says, this particular motor here, um, at, will make four kilowatts of power, which is roughly 5.5 .5 horsepower, which is what this motor is, I believe. Um, so, four kilowatts of power at 3,600 RPM. Now, hmm, I'm thinking, it's only spinning now at 2,800-ish. Now, the difference between 2,800 and 3,600 is like 600, it's like freaking, you know, it's, it's 800 RPM something, you know, 700 RPM difference there. So I got the digital taco out and I bumped up the speed to 3, 000, just under 3,600, 3,522-ish. Now, as I found out before, that the engine was only spinning at 2,800-ish RPM and it's supposedly, apparently meant to spin at 3,600. So that's about sort of 800-ish RPM or so difference. Now, that I know from past lawnmowers, like even a couple of hundred RPM makes it makes a, a noticeable difference. So this is about 800 RPM. So you think, gee, that's going to make a like significant difference, and and it did make a big difference. So what you need to do to to set this is you're going to need yourself a um, these oh, tamper-proof bits or the Torx bits, and they have that funny star-shaped sort of head on them. And these bits, there's a adjustment here at the front for that. And you need to get yourself a 10 mil socket. And you can undo this, this part here. Oh, it's nice working on the new mowers. Nice and clean. Shouldn't have to, mind you, it's brand new, but anyway. So you take these guys off. Yeah, it's a little, I guess, a little protection plate, which I thought was pretty cool to keep all these linkages and, and stuff safe from, uh, from injury when you crash into, into a tree, which you will do one day. Um, and this here is your governor. That's the governor spring. Now, this screw on the front here winds you know, in and out, forwards and backwards, and this is what you need the Torx, Torx screw a bit for, because it's, they've used that, so people can't tamper with it, I guess. Now, if you look... Uh, here, that that spring was originally in the top hole. Now, um, when I had the had the taco hooked up in that, when I when I unwound this spring, um, like backed it off, um, the engine picked up a little bit of RPM, but it, but it, like it wouldn't pick up enough RPM to to get to 3,600. So, I had to shut it back down again and fiddle with this to take it out from the top hole and put it on the front hole. And you can see the front hole is like it's out of alignment by I don't know a couple of mils or thing. And that allowed me to have enough uh, adjustment on this on this screw here, um, and that's all you've got to do to adjust the the top end RPM speed, and it makes a fantastic difference to mowing the grass now. And like um, people often say that the speed, you know, the ground, the travel speed of the mower is very slow, like it's a, it's a three speed. Now I found before, like for the last 18 months, I've had it, thinking that's the way it's meant to be without adjusting this this RPM speed. Um, on third speed, it wasn't really that fast. Like, and like I'm a tall person, I've got, I'm about 6'3", and I've got you know, pretty long legs. Um, but since increasing the RPM, 
since increasing the RPM back to um, well, up to 3,600, which I think it's supposed to be, maybe you guys can just confirm that for me. I mean, the book does say it's meant to be, well, at 3,600 RPM it makes four kilowatts. But anyway, since increasing that speed back up to, or up to 3,600, when it's on speed number two now, that's like being on speed number three when it was in the, like not revving as hard. And now when it's on speed number three, like the best way I could describe it is that you're doing a power walk. Like I'm, like I said, I've got big long legs. And it's a power walk for me. So if you're if you're a short ass, you nearly be doing a slow jog. I reckon it's pretty like it. It and the thing was, you'd always see that the contractors using these mowers. You know, think well, surely the boys who do these you know, day in day out, surely that that's going too slow because you know the more yards you do, the more money you make. But, and and. Now I can see it being used as a contractor's mower because it, you know, with these modifications, with the grass catch, modif you know, the shoot modification and the, you know, the higher RPM, it's fantastic. Look, like, it's seriously, it's freaking unbelievable. It, and in my opinion now, it's totally worth the, the $1,400 or $1,500. So that's pretty cool. And I'll keep you guys updated. Um, like I've done 50 hours now on the machine, I'll keep you guys updated if something major happens to it.